So I just want to show you real quick how to add image extensions in Google Ads. Now, this is a campaign that we've set up where we already have some image extensions in place so that you can see how this works, but it's a pretty straightforward process. I like to just filter out because there's so many different types of extensions. If you click images up here at the top, that's going to just show you the image extensions you have. Of course, I've selected a campaign from up here, so it's only showing the image extensions for this one campaign here. But all you really need to do is click this little plus sign right here. That's going to pull up the option to add in image extensions. And then you can just click the plus right here. And that is going to present the asset library. So if you've used image extensions in the past, it will have a collection of images. And you can just go through, click the checkbox here, and it's going to basically put those as image extensions on this campaign. Of course, we have it selected at the campaign level here because we like to do image extensions for each campaign, sometimes for each ad group. So like if you're advertising uh, mobile detailing services or interior detailing services, like this is buffing and waxing. So maybe we have an ad group that's just for buffing and waxing. Then we would want this to show up at the ad group level so that when somebody's searching for polishing, buffing, waxing, that sort of thing, they're seeing an image of some somebody doing that service, right? So that's important to keep in mind. The other thing is if you click on these, it will allow you to adjust the image. Like if it looks like this by default, it's not going to look very good. So we probably want to center this. Same thing here. We can kind of adjust this to be where we want it to be and then select those images. And now it's showing somebody getting um, buffing done on their car, buffing and waxing, that type of thing, right? And then all we would do is click save here. You can also upload your own images. So if you have images you've taken of work that you've done, you can just upload them from your computer. You can also import them from your website. So you just put the URL of your website and it'll actually crawl your website, pull the images directly from there. The thing I like to use oftentimes though is the free stock images. So like if we're, you know, if we don't have images that are that great, we can find some professional photos that we can just use. So we could type something like auto detailing, click enter, and that's going to pull up a whole bunch of different images we can select. So, you know, here's another one that's like buffing and waxing. We can select that one. It's going to pull it into the campaign. Again, we can go in and adjust things so that it's in showing the right part of the image. And it's good to have both rectangle and square images in place. It's going to show usually rectangle images on mobile devices and then square is going to be more for like desktop computers that type of thing so again all we would do is click save here and then that's going to populate the images it's going to show us a preview of what that looks like and i think it will even switch through between the different images maybe not i guess it's not going to right now <laughs> but um, and then we would click save here that's going to save it to this campaign Again, we can also save it at the ad group level. You can even do it at the account level. Uh, that's usually not recommended in, in most cases because each campaign and ad group is going to be advertising in different services, at least if you have things set up in a congruent way, which is what I would recommend doing. And then if we click Save here, it will actually add these images to that campaign that we've selected. Now, just a quick note, if you come over here to All Extensions and you try to add an, ex an image extension and you don't see the option showing up it probably means that your account is just not eligible yet so if you look there's different eligibility requirements in order to be able to use image assets so the requirements are your account has been open for more than 60 days the account has a good history of policy compliance your account is active or you have active campaigns and the account has active text ads that have been, um, you know, running search ads for at least 28 days. And the account needs to be in an eligible vertical or sub vertical. So you have to be in a niche, like you can't do gambling or sexual content or whatever, as an example. So if you meet all the requirements, then you should see it show up here as an option. If your account has not been, like, say you just set your account up two days ago, you're not going to have the option to add image extensions in here. 
So you might just need to give it some time or fix some policy issues and wait some time in order for that option to show up. Now when you do have your image extensions in place, the other important thing to note is that you're going to see this data over here in terms of what's happening with the images. This can be a little bit confusing because you can see there's like a click through rate, but there's actually no way for somebody to click on an image in an ad. They can just click on the ad itself. So what this data shows here is the performance of your ad when the image extension shows on your ad, which actually helps us get a sense of which image is performing best on an ad, right? So when this image right here is showing up on the ad, the ad is getting a 13% click-through rate. Whereas when this image is showing up on the ad, it's only getting a 10% click-through rate. This is also getting a lower cost per click, which is probably, you know, partially because the user experience is better, the click-through rate is higher, the cost per conversions are better than this image. And so we might look at this data and say, you know what, when this image right here shows up on the ad, we don't get that great of performance. Let's just go ahead and pause this image for now and maybe test out some other images and see if we can get images that perform even better. So just know that this data doesn't necessarily mean that this image got clicked on 97 times or, you know, led to this many conversions. It's just that the ad is getting this sort of performance when this image is showing on the ad. So I hope you found this helpful. If there's anything you did have questions about, don't hesitate to reach out. You can just drop your questions in the comment section down below, and I'll be sure to get back to them there. Look, if you're the type of person that just doesn't even want to deal with Google Ads anymore, <laughs> then you can always reach out to me. Uh, my company is Missoula SEO Geek. I'll leave a link to my website down below, but we do manage Google Ads for different companies and different industries, and you can come learn about what we do, what makes us unique. You can even read some of the testimonials from some businesses that we've taken from zero to over a million in revenue, like this one here. And really just see that, you know, this is the type of thing that's gonna explode your business growth. So feel free to reach out. You can always give us a call or contact us through our website and look forward to working with you.